welcome to this amazing episode of The Russell Brown Show, where you'll need a tablet running the new product from Adobe called Photoshop Touch and a flashlight. That's right. I'm going to relight this room with a flashlight. It's amazing. And you can only do it with Photoshop Touch because of its built-in camera on many of the tablets today. Let's get started. I'm going to go right over here and I'm going to create a new empty layer, just like this. And in this project, I need to move the layer to the topmost position simply by tapping and dragging it upward. Once that's selected right there, I'm going to set the blend mode to this to overlay. Now, when you set something to overlay, it will respect the tones and values in my image, but it will add to that with my flashlight. I set that, I tap away. Then I'm going to duplicate that layer, because now I have two layers with the same blend mode. Here we go. With that targeted, let's now turn down the lights in the studio. Because this technique works best in the dark, because we need it to be nice and dark in the room as this camera fill effect happens. I'm going to go to this flyout menu here under my more items here under the ampersand. I'm going to select and tap on Add Camera Fill. I'm using the forward camera in this device. Now if I pick up my flashlight, I'd like to demonstrate the first of my two techniques. The first is where you shine the light directly in the sensor. <laughs> Look how I can light up the room and I can create a lens flare effect. I move the camera, excuse me, I move the flashlight to the exact position I like and then I select my camera feature right here on the tablet. This looks great. It has a really nice light to the room and a glare. I select Keep right here. That's number one. So that's relighting the room. Check this out. You're not going to believe this. Here's before, boring and dull. And now it's here with the flashlight technique of relighting it. But wait. There's more. The second of these two techniques allows you to create a spotlight technique. I'm selecting my second layer here. Remember, that still has the overlay mode. I go back up and select Add Camera Fill. Once again, I have this flashlight. But this time, I don't point the flashlight directly into the light sensor. I move it around the room as if I'm lighting the room with a spotlight. OK. I just want you to pause for a moment and say to yourself, it doesn't get better than this. The ability to spotlight, let's put it right over there. And of course, if you move it closer, the spotlight gets bigger. If you move it farther away, the spotlight gets smaller. Welcome to the world of analog, fantastic, amazing techniques. There it is. I've captured it. I turn off my flashlight, and we can now bring up the studio lighting and finish this off. We want to keep this. So we have two effects. The spotlight effect, which we can turn on and off, and the flare effect here. Let's combine the two together. Wow! Turning both of them on. Then let's bring in the Mad Hatter. Now if you want to change the position of the Mad Hatter or other layers like this, you can get really, really amazing results. So you've just seen a demo here on Photoshop Touch combined with a flashlight and a built-in camera to your Android device or your Apple iPad 2 device. Wow, a flashlight. Who would have known? There you have it. Amazing things that you can do with Photoshop Touch. Give it a try.